What up folks, I'm Ultrazone, today I have a review of the Gundam Universe, Double O Razor. That's a right, a mausoleum with cool art, as all of these do have. This was one of my 2022 backlogs uh, to get done. There are other Gundam Universe figures I need to get done from before that. But uh, as far as 2022 goes, uh, this is one of the final ones that did come out then um, that I haven't had a chance to review. It is a bigger, more deluxe set. I guess it's got a bigger wing set, you know, so that's kind of cool. So, and everything's just floating around in there right now. So without any further ado, let's just get this review. So there's Razor Ramon out of the package, but before we get to him, there is another piece to this that is, um, you know, I kind of forgot that it has is its own ship, basically. I don't know what this is called, but it's pretty cool. You do have to uh, pop it together from here, it goes into there, uh, but it looks really good. You got like a gold cockpit there, which is nice. The wings look really cool. It's very Star Wars-esque, you know what I'm saying? Um, got that, but that's not for this. Uh, but it looks good. Overall, it's a nice little sculpt and, uh, you know, a nice little play feature. Otherwise, before we finish with this, um, well, finish it with for now. Uh, there's also a little, uh, hole there for a Tamashi stage act. And speaking of Tamashi stage acts, of course, all of these come, uh, with one of these adapters. Uh, and then we uh, get two hands here one has a trigger hand and one does not but they're both holding hands they're fine they're nothing we haven't seen before then we get these two little pieces that are just called grips uh and they supposedly go back here possibly like this i don't know if i have this right it could be like this no like this just go in there like so and then he comes with two swords uh, which look really good man there's actually paint green paint there and uh some blue plastic gray dark gray plastic not bad not bad i like them you're gonna have to use um your hands for them they look good i like them a lot actually kind of some of my favorite uh weapons here this moves oh this comes out too um, so I, I don't know. I don't know if that has anything to do with the grips or whatnot, but easy to uh, place the hands. The other hands are fist hands. We won't really completely go over that because it's just fist hands. But I like how this looks. These are pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Very, very nice. And, and, but wait, there's more. They open up and they turn into guns, which don't fit in their hands his hand is good at all. Uh, at least that one doesn't. Let's try the other one, shall we? Um, I hope it does because it's it's a neat feature. You know, maybe in this one. Maybe if you go all the way up here. Yeah, the grip, uh, the trigger hand holds it better. So this one does not. This one uh, does. But it's a cool feature. It's very Power Rangers-esque. You know what I'm saying? I guess if you push this all the way down, eh, there you go. That'll work. That'll work out for you. Oh, and then uh, you could store these on the side here. So close everything up. And then, you know, you put them on the side. Little holes there for little hilts. Uh, and there you go. So as far as this stuff goes, you know, these can also attach here i guess that's what the whole deal is about the um you know the razor part because this is really gundam gundam oh oh i i would i would think right i think this is gundam oh oh uh and then i guess does this part go in the back it doesn't i would think this attached to right there but um maybe it doesn't attach anywhere maybe this is just his own thing i don't know uh, or maybe you do that? I, where would this go? I, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if it's in the directions. So I am baffled about that because I don't see anything. 
for this uh, in the directions and uh, certainly don't see anything here. Oh, oh, wait a second. Now it's attaching for some reason. It wasn't attaching before. Uh, but I guess, is that what you do with this? <laughs> is that how it's supposed to look, guys? Sticking straight <laughs> out like that? I I'm guessing so because it sticks. That's kind of weird, but hey, I'll, I'll take it, you know? I'll, I'll take it. Why not? Let's get the full look up <laughs> for this craziness here. Yeah, I, I don't know much about this Gundam, but we haven't even looked at the Gundam fully yet. Um, but, you know, hey, it's kind of part of this, right? So uh, that's kind of cool, I guess, if that's what it's supposed to be doing. You guys can let me know down below. Not looking it up. This this is good enough for me. It's crazy looking and I kind of like that. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I like how it looks with these here. Uh, but without these here, it looks fine as well. It's got this kind of like drill looking thing here. And these do move. Uh, which is kind of cool. Oh, wait a second. Can, uh, I think it's supposed to go like that actually. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a cool look. I like that, man. That looks really, really good. Let's look at the rest of this guy, shall we? You know, we got that big thing in the back. But without that big thing, you just got the backpack with little thrusters in there. You got these things down here. Uh, the back of the legs, not much to look at. And the back of it is really not much to look at at all. There's some sculpted detail. You got red on the bottom, uh, which is painted. And uh, that's good. I like how that looks. Nice, nice metallic green here on the sides. I like that a lot. Very cool, some great paint there as well. So that's really nice. Legs, you know, sufficiently Gundam-esque. Then you got red painted there, red in there, which looks really good. The arms also have that green, which looks very, very cool. I like it a lot. Man, that's a good green. That really is. The blue's painted. This guy's got a lot of uh, paint for some of these uh, standard Gundam figures. You know what I'm saying? Chest piece, this is all plastic, but, you know, it looks really good. Again, I really like the wing piece. I think they look very, very, very nice. And then the head sculpt is really cool. I like, uh, you know, his little fins here, the V-fin, and then uh, these extra yellow ones. The green eyes, again, really nice. Mouthpiece looks good, the red. It has that green again on the side of the head. I like these parts that come out. I really like this guy's head sculpt. It's cool. So, um, you know what? I, for some reason, I was not looking forward to doing this review. Probably why it was one of the last ones from last year's, uh, backlog that I hadn't got to. But I gotta say, I, I, I I'm quite impressed and I kinda like this guy. Kinda like what he brings to the table, so, yeah. Surprise, surprise. And as for articulation, the head moves like so. Body moves like so. Not a ton of range of motion there. Uh, we saw these, they do move out of your way completely if you need be which is nice then that moves these other shoulder pads move swivel there got a joint at the elbow the wrist are on ball joints the uh oh oh these things come out on the side you don't want to push them out of the way but you probably will if you extend everything which you can do um, but then you want to hold on to those kick forward goes back these do have a drop down joint which is actually really really nice and then you can pop them out of the joint. Never want to do that because then everything gets looser. Double jointed knee is big and good. The ankle rocker works fine because it's on a ball joint and it goes front and uh, back. And I think this moves regardless. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, and this popped out too. Hey, nice. Um, so, you know, the articulation is okay. It's not like, you know, the craziest thing in the world. But, um, yeah, there it is. And for your size comparison, here is uh, the Double O Razor with a couple of other Gundam Universe figures and some other robots you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, you know, I am impressed with this one. I really, really like it a lot. Uh, I haven't liked too many of the regular releases in a bit. You know, like, I feel like I've just been going through the motions on these just to get them all done. But, you know, I'm glad, you know, some can, like, still wow me. I, I think this is a really, really good one. Uh, it's very, very cool. So I, I'm digging this one. I'm, I really, really am. Uh, I have put a couple of Gundams on my eBay shop and I'm probably going to be putting more, but I don't think this is going to be amongst them. 
It's actually a really nice figure, and there you go. And it's got a lot of really cool play value. So, if you can please like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. They versify your collection, get some Gundam Universe, there are some gems in there. Until next time, peace out.